we're gonna spin our ice cream yeah. cone spinning wheel. And we're gonna learn colors today. Yes, we are. Let's scoop on some ice cream first. Our ice cream machine will put it on for us. Woohoo! One at a time. So we're just putting on plain flavored ice cream at the moment. And we've got to choose our colors and flavors afterwards. One more to do. Brilliant. Now, let's spin the wheel. Which color should we do first? What flavor is your favorite flavor? Oh, I do love this spinning wheel. I'm having a great time doing this. How about you? Again? <laughs> let's spin it even faster. It's so much fun. Let's do green. It could be mint flavored ice cream or even pistachio. What do you think? What should we do next? Red, strawberry or raspberry. What do you prefer? Oh, I love this game. It's so much fun. Blue. Ooh, that could be blueberry flavored ice cream. Yay! Let's do purple. Ooh, blackberry ice cream. Oh, I love it. Oh, and yellow. That can be lemon. And if you don't fancy an ice cream, you can have sorbet instead. They're very refreshing, you know. Orange next for our orange flavored ice cream. Let's do pink. Woohoo! Pink, that can be raspberry flavored. Or maybe bubblegum. Spinning. One brown. That's chocolate. It's my favorite. Ooh, delicious. Let's do an olive green colored. That's more like pistachio, I think. Yeah, that's right. And cyan. Oh, I wonder what flavor that could be. Ooh, black. Hmm, licorice maybe. Interesting. Spinning. And last but not least, plain white. That could just be vanilla, can't it? What is your favorite color? Which is your favorite flavor? If you have a real ice cream, you could mix them together, couldn't you? I like to have two scoops on mine. I think I'll go for pink and purple. Ooh, yeah. Even if you can't eat ice cream, there's loads of other options. And I just can't stop spinning this wheel. <laughs> Look, dinosaurs come to try some. Ooh, yummy, I'm going to have a scoop. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hi, chef. What's cooking in the kitchen today? Fruit. Yes, ma'am. Daddy Rampus? I think she wants you to make something. Okay, ma'am. Got it? Excellent. What's it to be then? Ooh, a cooking pot. Some ingredients. Mmm. Smells delicious. Oh, you're going to heat it in the microwave then, chef? Well, okay then. This is exciting. I wonder what it's going to be when it's ready. Smells delicious. So what now then, chef? Oh, now in the freezer, I see. Oh my goodness, it's ice cream. Delicious. Ooh, red. Pink. And purple. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that, Mr. Chef. You certainly earned it. Hello again. Are we going to cook something else? Exciting. What will it be? Yes, ma'am. Daddy Rampus? I think she's trying to tell you. Okay, ma'am. Excellent. We get the cooking pot. And the ingredient. Ooh. Should we give it a stir? Mmm, yummy smell. In the microwave again. Yay, let's heat it all up. 
It's ready! Is it going in the freezer again, Chef? It is! Let's get it nice and icy cold. Is it ready? <gasps> wow! Look, more ice cream! Oh my goodness! Yellow ice cream! Ooh, blue ice cream! And green! Yummy, yum, yum, yum! Bye, Chef! It's morning! Time to get up! <laughs> Yay! Let's go and brush our teeth! Hey, which toothbrush is yours? The yellow one! Mine's the purple one! Let's brush, brush, brush! All around the side to reach the back you open wide! Done! Time to have a shower! The water is blue! Lovely! Ooh, and let's dry ourselves with our pink towels! Time to have breakfast! Oh, yummy! Yay. This looks delicious! Yay. Let's eat! Uh -huh. Yummy! I'm going to drink my red drink and you can drink your green drink! Delicious! Yay. Time to go to school! Yours is a pink bag! And mine's the blue! Let's go! Walking to school, looking so cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. We're going on the school bus. It's yellow. Hear him bellow, hear him roar. It's Squidgy the dinosaur. Let's draw some hearts for his sunglasses. That's right, he's so cool. He's got heart shaped sunglasses. They are super electrifying. Drawing the outline of his face now, his jawline and his cheeks. And let's not forget his nostrils and his mouth, of course. Oh, he's a happy one with some teeth. Yes. Rawr. Now we're going to draw his tummy. Yeah. Then drawing his hands. A little bit of detail on the palm there. Round his belly. And the other hand. He's got one thumb and three fingers in each hand. And we're going to do some really cool dino talons. Yeah, look at that. Nice big dino feet. Don't forget the tail. And a star, because he's a rock star. So we need lots of stars around Squidgy the dinosaur. Hey, do you have a favorite toy? Or dolly, maybe? Yeah, me too. I used to love my dolly when I was a little girl. Right, ready to paint? Let's start with red. Go vibrant on the heart sunglasses. Yeah, fantastic. Then blue next. Blue around the edge of our hearts to make the red really stand out. And let's go for yellow now. We're going to paint Dino's hands and arms and obviously his body. We're just going to do the outer part of his body for the time being, side to side, staying in between the lines, all the way round. Oh, that tickles! He's very ticklish, you know. Tickles his belly when you paint it. You have to be so careful. <laughs> Let's do his second arm now. Right into his fingers. There! Let's do his head now. Around the sunglasses. Painting his cheeks and his chin. Oh yeah, Squishy the dinosaur. Oh yeah, he can bellow and roar. Rock out! Painting his other cheek and his nose. Going around your oval shaped nostrils very carefully. That's it. Keep in between those lines. Hey, now pink. We're going to do pink nostrils and a pink tummy. Look at that. It really stands out, doesn't it? Bright yellow and a brighter pink. Ooh, I just love it. Yay. 
Let's do some gold now. Gotta have a bit of gold on our tail. Yeah. The dino with the golden tail. Now, how about some silver? Why not? Silver teeth and red again for his tongue. That's right, you guessed it. We're gonna go peachy pinky for the rest of his mouth. Now for some brown, let's do his feet. Painting around those claws. Painting around those talons. And a darker brown, I think, for those. Yep, we're gonna have some nice, strong, dark brown feet. Brilliant, let's paint the stars green. Wow. Whoa, that looks so cool. Pink, let's make it match his tummy and nostrils. What next? How about blue to match the rim of the sunglasses? You can choose any colors you like. We love to mix and match. And there you have it. Gorgeous Squishy the Dinosaur, yeah. Oh, so cute.
kids, how are you today? We are going to learn the alphabet. That's right. And we're going to draw it and paint it too. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I love drawing. We'll start with the letter A. Then B. Then C. And D. What comes next? It's E. F. G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. What comes next? L. Then M, N, O, P, Y, Q, R, S, T, U, V. What's next? That's right, it's W, X, Y and Z, or Z. Now we know our ABCs, this time won't you paint with me? Red. A is going to be red, like an a-a-apple. B is going to be yellow, like a b-b-b-b-banana. C can be purple, like a purple carrot. Yes, you can get purple carrots. Green for D, like a dinosaur. E can be pink, like a pink elephant. What colour shall we do F? Blue, what a great choice. Blue for a blue frog. Yellow again for G. G is going to be a giraffe. Next is H and we're going through the green again. How about a green helicopter? And I can be for ice. Blue ice, j j j j jelly, strawberry flavoured because it's pink. Next, we're going for K, gold koala. Hmm, what shall we do for the letter L? Blue, what a great choice! It could be a blue lizard. Ooh. M can be red for a red monkey. Well, why not? It's my monkey and I want it to be red. Purple for N because it's such a nice colour. Ooh, let's go for gold again for O. It's almost orange, so we say off for orange. Red p -p 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 penguin. Why not? Green for a queen, because it almost rhymes. A green queen, get it? Blue for r r r, -r rocket because we're zooming into space. Yellow for s sun. That's right, a yellow sun. Pink for t t t t t t t telephone. Purple for a umbrella. Now let's do yellow for a v v v v violin. And a window can be pink. Lovely. I'm going for the gold again for a xylophone. My favourite musical instrument. Green for a yo-yo. I like playing with yo-yos, it's so much fun. And last but not least, a red zebra. Well done! You drew and painted the whole alphabet. All 26 letters of it. Great job! Fantastic! Hey, it's a bright sunny day and we're going to the playground. Yay! Let's start by drawing the outline with a black pen. We're drawing a slide first of all. Flag on the roof. Lovely legs. A window. It's a playhouse built high up with a slide to come down and a ladder to go up. It's brilliant. Finishing touches. Lines on the roof. If you think about it, it's just like drawing lots of different shapes. You've got different sized rectangles, circles, triangles, even squares. Can you spot them? There you go. Time to paint. Red, I think, will be our first colour. And we'll make our flag red. And a stripe on the roof, why not? Blue for the second stripe. Let's go for pink next. What colour shall we do next, kids? What a brilliant choice. Green. And finally, purple. That's great. Mm, let's go for silver now. Silver for our flagpole. Pink for our window. 
the great thing about this is you can literally choose any colour you like. Use your favourite colours. You could even do it all one colour if you wanted to. But we like to use a huge variety of colours because it's so bright and beautiful. So yellow for this main part. And then we're going to go for green. That will be our ladder. Pink for the legs. Now let's go for a lovely bright red. That can go on our ladder rungs. You know what rungs are? They're the steps of the ladder. Excellent. Back to pink to do some of the frame. Gold for our pillar top. Green for the bars. And continuing the main body with yellow for the slide. Blue for the final leg. And let's go back to red for our monkey bars. And green for the handles. And there you have it. A gorgeous, colourful playground. Well done. Hi friends, look at my gorgeous house. Let's draw. We'll start with a triangle for the roof. It's going to be a wide triangle. Now, slightly inside the edge of the triangle, we're doing a rectangle underneath and a tall rectangular door with a circular door handle and square windows with crisscross frames. And now let's do something in the garden. We're doing a gorgeous tree, a rectangle and a cone shape for the tree. A circle with small triangles on the outside for the sun. Look at those rays. There you go, that was so easy. Time to paint. Green first for our lovely tree. So you see, it just takes a few different shapes. You put them all together and you get a fabulous picture. You could draw your house taller, thinner, more windows, more doors, whatever you like. Brown for the tree trunk. What things do you have in your garden? Maybe some flowers and grass. We're doing a red roof. Wow, I would love a red sparkly roof on my house, wouldn't you? Almost there. Done. Now yellow. The main body of our house is going to be sparkly yellow. If you wanted, you could do patterns on your walls, like stripes or zigzags or even swirly-whirly patterns. Perhaps you could have some flowers growing up the side of your house. Maybe you could even draw bricks and make them multicoloured. There! Now for pink! Lovely pink window frames, but only every other one. Next we're going for blue, which we're going to alternate with the pink. Blue and pink look fantastic, don't you think? Purple now for the door. Wow, my favourite colour. Going around the door handle, side to side and done. Door handle can be green. Yes, and last but not least, a golden sun. Golden rays all around. Wonderful. And yellow for the main part. Wow, this looks amazing. And can you believe how easy it was to do? Brilliant. There you have it. Home sweet home. Hey kids, how are you today? Would you like to draw and paint a sparkly squirrel with me? You would? Brilliant! We'll start by using a black pen to draw the outline. I'm going to do a foot and the leg, the arm, fingers, tummy. Squirrel's holding a nut, so we draw that too. 
the other foot. Facial features, the eye, nose and mouth, the other ear and finally a big bushy tail. That's right, we've got to have a big bushy tail on a squirrel. Curvy lines. And done! Brilliant! Time to paint. Hmm, let's go with yellow first of all. We're going to paint our squirrel lovely and yellow. Look at that. I do say, Mr Squirrel, it looks fantastic with your blue eyes. Carefully painting with a small tipped paintbrush in between the black boundary lines. Painting the main body, so that's the face, the ears, the arms, the back, the legs. And, of course, the feet. You're doing really well, keep going, almost there. Done! Going for gold! The inside of the ear, around the mouth and, of course, the nut. Let's do the tummy the same colour too. Excellent. Going for black this time. We're going to paint the nose. And then brown for the nutshell. Time for a colourful tail, starting with pink for the first segment. Our squirrel has a lovely stripy tail. Yes, what next? How about purple? I love purple. And purple and pink are like brother and sister, you know. They just go so well together. And done! Last but not least, we're going for bright green because it's really good to have some contrast, don't you think? Excellent! Well done, kids! You did a great job! Go on, go along and eat that nut. Yummy! Subscribe and watch more! Cheeky Art!